Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card using a brand new stamp set at Simon Says Stamp. This is called Teacher Thank Yous. It's part of their, their Make Magic release. And I haven't made a teacher card, so I thought today would be a good day. <laughs> um, there's a few images in here. There's an apple that says thank you. There's a smaller solid apple, but the A plus kind of caught my eye and I thought we would do some masking with it. Um, it's on the larger side. So I'm taking some Gina K Masking Magic, masking paper, and my Memento ink. We're eventually gonna stamp with this ink. So I'll stamp my A. I don't know if I'm gonna need two masks or not, but it's better to have more than none. Um, so I decided to stamp two of these A pluses. And then I'm gonna use my scissors and fussy cut to the stamp line, both of these out. Now the A, the center of the A is um, solid, and now you want to cut those out. But this is so easy to do, guys. Just cut through it. Um, if you do this, just make one cut line, and usually on a straight edge, and then you can just use your scissors to follow along the curved line on the inside of the A. And um, when you place this mask over your stamped A+, you can't even tell that that line is there, as long as it's a straight line, you can see here. I'll do the same thing to my next one. Just draw a straight cut line and then follow along the curve. And then we have an A plus um, mask. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up and then bring in some white cardstock. And I did use a ruler. The ruler that I've had here is a very old sewing ruler. It used to have that little red slider piece on it, but I took it off. Um, they used to come in sewing kits quite a while back, but I like these rulers for my craft desk. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my first A right above it. And then after we have this stamp, I'll take my mask. We're gonna remove the release paper here, cover our A plus up, and then um, we're gonna stamp right next to it, but overlapping it about half of an inch. We'll just add this over our existing A. Maybe a quarter inch is is better. But we'll line it up, stamp it one more time. I want four A pluses in a row. So after I have my second one stamped, I'm gonna pick up my mask and then we'll lay it over the one that we just stamped. I haven't did this in a while. I forgot how fun this was. But we'll line it up here I'll stamp it one more time and then we'll pick up that mask off of our middle one and put it on our end one and it's getting pretty saturated but I think I can I think I can get away with one more stamp so I can just save the other one for another project so now that they're evenly spaced basically the only a plus showing is the one at the very right and um, we're going to cover that with another A plus eventually. Okay, I trimmed down my paper and we're going to bring in another piece of cardstock and, and stamp that A plus. Um, this one I'm going to fussy cut out and then we're going to pop up on the very end one. So I'm going to go ahead and color in my A pluses. I'm going to use a rainbow of colors. I listed the colors, but as I color these, I'll just play a little music. And when I'm done coloring, I'll catch you back, guys.
coloring is all done. Now you can see I did use my lightest red marker and went over the first eight, only because if you look at the card at an angle, I wanted you to be seeing something more than white. I fussy cut out my A plus and you know what? I'm not sure if this stamp set does have a coordinating die set. Um, if it did, it would just cut out three things, the A and then the two apples, um, maybe the teacher here. I'll list it below if they do have one. I'm going to go ahead and take the teacher sentiment and I'm going to place it right above my A pluses. I'm going to use my Misty for this in case I need to double stamp. Um, and I'm just going to stamp with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink. Um, we'll tack that down here with some with our tape runner. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I'm going to I love the font of this. It's just a block font, lowercase letters, but completely reminds me of um, elementary school. <laughs> That's stamped. And while I'm still at it and have my Misty out, I'm going to take some black cardstock and stamp a secondary sentiment. This one says, we are so grateful for you. I'll treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool and then ink it up with my Versamark ink. I thought we would heat emboss with some white embossing powder just so it stands out. We'll go over this and then I'll use my heat gun and we'll melt the embossing powder and then I'll go ahead and use my paper trimmer and block this off so the secondary sentiment's ready to go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my card base. I'm using some card stock. This I believe is a Hero Hue card. It's very heavyweight. Love the Hero Arts card stock. I'm going to go ahead and score at the five and a half inch mark and then um, that will be our card base. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim down my teacher panel a little bit more. I keep trimming it smaller and smaller. Um, I guess that's the best thing about stamping with a larger piece of paper. We're going to add this just so it's a little bit shorter. I wanted to use one of the apples in the stamp set and do some tone on tone. And so I wanted it to show. So I think my borders need to be a little bit bigger. Okay, I'm going to mask off at the seam here. We're going to make a portrait or landscape style card. I'm going to grab that apple. One of the apples says thanks. I just stamped the smaller apple all around the outside of my red cardstock with Versamark ink. So we have that watermark ink all around our um, card front. Next, I'm going to take some white cardstock. The cardstock for the inside of the card, I'm just using some inexpensive um, cardstock that I use for my pat. Um, my filing. I just trimmed it down to fit on the inside. I thought the red was just a little bit too dark. And then I had my little apple. I thought let's just grab some green ink and stamp an apple on the inside too. Make the inside just as special. We'll just stamp one in the little corner here. Okay, I'm going to take my teacher, my A plus panel, and flip it over. We're going to add foam adhesive behind it. And then We'll remove the release paper and this is going to go in the center of our card here. And when I trimmed it down, I didn't trim it down square, so the bottom will be a little bit thicker than the top. But that's okay, I think I can get away with this. After we have our A plus panel adhered, we're going to take our A plus and pop it up with some small foam squares. This is going to go over the existing A that's on our panel. And then I did just use my tape runner and add my We Are So Grateful For You right across the A's there. And I didn't pop that up. I just glued that down to the top of it. Now for bells and whistles, I wanted to make that A extra special. So I'm using my glossy accents. Glossy accents is slightly thicker than my journey glaze. So I used this. And then I'm going to do that little glitter trick because I love the way this looks. I'm bringing in some of that chunky iridescent glitter. This one happens to be from Studio Katia. I have several different kinds. I know Finstabber's Journey has some. And also, um, I think Avriel has some too. 
um, but it's nice big iridescent glitter that I like to add to my glossy accents. I didn't want to add too much because I still wanted you to see the A, the red A behind it. But after I have that sprinkled on there, I'm going to go ahead and add a few of my moonshine sequins from Simon Says Stamp. And then that finishes off my card for today, guys, using one of the brand new stamp sets from the Make Magic release over at Simon Says Stamp. I hope you enjoyed this project. And if you like to see still shots, um, go ahead and visit my blog. I take individual pictures over there. But thanks so much for joining me. Have a lovely day. We will see you again real soon. Bye-bye.